I'll just quickly show you the data. So this is the data that Emily works on. She's got some reservation data, which is uh, you know reservation number, group number, the details of the individual, uh, where they you know their nationality, state, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So it's giving it's all the reservation data that most of you should be familiar with. And what she uh, uh, wants to do is to you know ask some questions of this data, and that's you know in this format it's quite difficult, I would say. So so let's start the timer. I'll aim for five-ish five minutes, and uh, let's get started. And now I'll start analyzing this data. So let's pick reservations, and as soon as I tick that, it gives me answer to one of my questions, which is what's the total number of reservations without looking into the data in any detail. The next thing I want to do is I want to look at reservations by segment. And this one, I'll make it a tree map um, because it, it'll give us a view of how big that proportion is. So you can see business is a huge part of your reservations in terms of segment. Then we want to look at reservations by customer nationality. We want to see where people are coming from. I'll just change it into this bar chart. And with most data sets, you'll have lots of blanks because there's an activity of data cleansing that you need to do. So I'll just get rid of the blanks just for simplicity. But you'd ideally like to fill that data in somehow. And then we want to look at reservations by the month, uh, so arrival month. So let's do that. And there you go. So that's number of reservations by month. And let's see how we're doing on time. Have a few more minutes. Minute. And <laughs> finally, I'll create another one, which is reservations, number of people, number of nights. And we'll look at it by your products. So where is products? Come on, quickly. Right, and we'll just see it as a Right, so I'll stop the timer now. Less than five minutes. <laughs> Did work. Wow. But imagine what we've done, and uh, now think about someone who wants to analyze this data. They want to know what's the total of number of reservations. There's the answer, 2188. How many of these are business? You hover over that. Uh, it's 1918. In fact, you can also enable labels, so you, it'll just show you the data there, right there. So if I just uh, you know, enable data labels, you can see the numbers right there. How many of these are from Kazakhstan? OK, that's 292. Germany, 172. So you're getting answers to your questions straight away. You just hover over uh, you know, one of the fields, you get the answer, one of those visualizations. The other interesting bit is that they also talk to each other, these visualizations. So I can say, actually, let me filter everything by Germany. So now I'm seeing all this data by Germany. So uh, you know, within Germany, uh, there was uh, 142 reservations. And now I want to get into the next level of detail. Out of these 142, um, tell me how many were in each month. And now I'm getting that level of detail. So all of these visualizations are talking to each other. So you're almost sitting there, and every question you have in mind, you're like, let me do this, this, this. And you get so many answers. People do get lost in this. So you have to be mindful of that. You need to make some decisions based on data rather than be excited and you know, just uh, keep doing uh, clicks throughout your day. But that's the thing, right? Uh, we were able to build a report and be, uh, end-to-end -end BI solution, I would say. We did some extraction, we did some data changes, we added a new custom measure, and we created some visualizations. You could not imagine doing this in five minutes, five or 10 years ago. So that's the power of Power BI. And when you upload this data, so this is for your personal, you know, you're doing it on your desktop. When you, when you, when you upload, it, upload this to the service, the same reports are accessible to others. But then you can also ask questions. And you can say, forget about dragging and dropping. Just say, show me reservations by state. Show maybe for 2017 and show it as a tree map. There you go. You, you, you don't need to do anything. You just need to type. 
And this, if you integrate it with your mic and stuff, you can just ask questions. And you can do this on the mobile device as well. So you literally just go on your mobile device, what's the number of reservations, and it'll give you the answer. And then you keep filtering the answer. So that's the power of a modern BI tool. You don't have to go through the whole journey. You don't have to build everything you know, over months. And you, know, you don't have to have your business requirements before you start building, because that's how we, you know, I used to be a consultant. Typically, we used to charge a lot of money for, get, for asking questions and documenting what you wanted, right? But we don't do that anymore. You just ask, uh, you, you, we start building, we see if that works for you, we keep it rating, and we build your solution in days rather than months or years. So that's the power of uh, Power BI.